Hello everyone. We will be discussing the concepts of R0 epidemic models as an example and we will be answering how to survive an epidemic, epidemic based on epidemic model. Myself Dr. Kiran, resident of PSM. Basic reproduction number written as R0 pronounced as R0. It is defined as the expected number of secondary cases produced by a single typical infection in a completely susceptible population. Here are the keywords. Susceptible population, it assumes that the completely susceptible population and it gives the secondary cases produced by a single typical infection. Mathematically, R0 is given as the product of duration of illness, contacts between susceptible and the infected individuals and the transmissibility of the infection. Duration of infectiousness varies for various diseases. Contact, net, contact between susceptible and infected individual varies by different routes of acquiring the infection. Transmissibility gives the virulence of the infection. R0, suppose if R0 is 2, what does this mean? Index case produces 2 cases, 2 active cases when come in and contact with susceptible population and increasing the chain of contacts with the increase in contact unless until intervened. This means each case produces 2 cases and 4, 8, 16, 32 and so on. There is an exponential rise of cases. Suppose let us consider examples of where R0 is 1, R0 is more than 1 or R0 is less than 1. This implies if R0 is 1, it means that each infected case is producing one single case, exactly one signal, single case. When the virulence of the organism is more, the infected case is replacing itself by another infected case. Apparently, the number of cases remains stationary or appears to be as stationary without much variations. When R0 is more than 1 or when not R0 is less than 1, there is difference in number of cases. R0 is more than 1, there is exponential rise of cases. When R0 is less than 1, there is exponential decrease of cases. It means that the cases might go in extinct, extinct or cases might reduce to 0 over time. These are the few examples. R0 of influenza droplet infection is found to be is found to be 0.9 to 2.1 uh, whereas measles it is found to be up to 18. A single case can produce up to 18 number of active cases when there is a contact between susceptible individuals. R0 directly implies the infectiousness of the disease. How this can help us help us in uh, public health? It helps us in vaccination guidance. It gives the minimum coverage required to achieve herd immunity and prevent the spread of epidemic or occurrence of epidemic. Mathematically, it is calculated by 1 minus 1 divided by R0. There are various models to calculate R0 and say how many susceptible infected or recovered population is there in a population over the changing time or over the changing trends of the disease. Most basic model is SIR model and another model is SEIR model, SIS models. There are various other models but medically SIR model is a simplistic and basic model. We will discuss how does this model works. SIR model works on the few of the assumptions. It assumes that the number of population is constant. There is constant rate of transmission that is number of infected and number of recovered population is constant and there is no demography. 
it does not considers the addition of new cases either either by birth or migration or deletion of cases either by deaths it does not assumes the demography and it assumes the well mixed population this is the most critical one well mixed population is the one where every infected individual has an equal chance of meeting a susceptible population that is known as well mixed population let's see how does this work suppose we will consider a cluster or a compartment consisting of n number of population capital n number of population so to apply sir model we take s as small letters s i and r for that population where susceptible population is total number of susceptible population by total number of population infection is total number of infected population by total number of population this denotes the fraction in each compartment or each cluster of the population so we want to calculate now how does this susceptible infected and recovered population changes over time we apply differential differentiation differentiation it means to say that we see how the population changes over the time ds by dt indicates changes over time susceptible population it is given as negative of constant a into susceptible population who is infected who are supposed to be infected why it is negative we will see in the coming slides whereas recovered population is given by a constant of b into infected population let's see what is a a is known as transmissibility coefficient or effective contact rate it is determined by transmission as well as contacts it depends on transmission as well as contact it is a host factor most of the time it is a host factor b is the recovery coefficient how many people recover how many uh, people get immunized or how many people develop immunity or cure if the virulence of the disease is more it may result in death as well it d b depends on death as well by our assumptions all rates are constants right population is constant transmissibility is constant it is a well mixed population so duration duration of the population we can calculate by simply inverse of inverse of this constant b that is how many people recover or how many people die that's inverse is always gives the duration of people suppose in measles infectiousness duration of infectiousness is 14 days 14th day at till 14 days people people are supposed to be infectious or child is supposed to be infectious duration of infectiousness and uh, it is given as d that is 1 by 14 it means to say that every case recovers in 14 days let's move on susceptible population as i said is a negative number is a negative constant why it is that suppose let's assume a population of 500 in our cluster at the start of the epidemic or at the beginning of the infection every population is infectious right as the population infection increases cases tend to decrease this susceptible population either move into infectious clusters or either they move into recovery cluster hence it is a negative number whereas infected population given as di by dt that is changes over time initially infected population it has a rise in trend right as an rise in trend it means to say that people get infected they suffer the illness and they either recover or they die based on the virulence of organisms right recovered population recovered population given by dr by dt it is the just the difference of susceptible versus recovered populations right susceptible versus infected population difference of susceptible minus infected population it is given by this equation it is in rising in trend it means to say that population will get infected ultimately everybody gets infected 
among the infected clusters they may get cured or they may get die based on the virulence number of the population keeps on rising sometimes immunity develops and that is also considered as recovered population sometimes recovered population is used as resultant population as well right and there is another model known as SEIR, SEIR or SERI model susceptible population and E denotes the how many people are exposed how many people are exposed population I is infected population and R is recovered population here in this model susceptible population addition of new cases is also taken into consideration whereas in a SIR model new cases are not taken into consideration this lambda is given by addition of new cases beta we have written it as a a or transmissibility coefficient is same as beta and this exposed mu population is no this mu is population who are out of this model susceptible population might die or they may get recovered they are removed from this population at over the each stages these are population keeps on increasing these are the removed populations exposed population when susceptible population is exposed to the infection they get either illness or they they may not develop infection or may develop into the latent infection those population are also removed infected population either they recover or they may die prematurely this is the premature of the population right it is similar to the sir model but with more consideration of new cases right this is an active model so we have a question does the epidemic occurs definition of epidemic is number of infected cases well above the expected range in our mathematical model we will consider infected patient as a positive number when the when there is rise of cases we consider it as epidemic it may you may consider it as more than uh, more than such threshold also sometimes infected population is nothing but as the susceptible population minus recovered population which is always more than zero in other words susceptible population by recovered population is more than zero it is a positive number it means to say that when there is more of the susceptible population there also epidemic occurs these are the two conditions when when there is infections like incidence is more when incidence is more or when there is more susceptible population there is a huge potential huge potential for an epidemic to occur at the onset of epidemic at the day one of epidemic nearly everyone is susceptible this is our assumption for example for any new infection where there is no immunity where everyone is susceptible so we can say that yes susceptible population is nearly one or it is 100 percent so we derive an equation known as transmissibility constant by recovered that is nothing but as r naught which is more than one how this equation is derived we'll see in the next slide we know that R0 is equal to product of D, C and T, right? Duration of illness and contact and transmissibility. With our assumptions, duration of illness is nothing but as inverse of infectiousness 1 by B. So R0 is CT by B, right? R0 is CT by B. This C into T is nothing but as a constant we have taken as a transmissibility constant right so a by b so we come to an equation now known as r naught r naught is equal to a divided by b which is more than one by this mathematical equation we arrived at the constant known as r naught that is 20 percent of the cases is 20% of the infected cases are infected individuals are responsible for the 80% of the cases. It is calculated by individual reproductive number. This is very much crucial for identifying 
to prevent an epidemic because these 20 percent of the cases in most of the scenarios are inapparent infections they might be carriers in most of the cases as well so it is very crucial to identify these individuals to prevent an epidemic among the disease right if susceptible population is very much less if susceptible population is very much less than this threshold we can assume that there is no epidemic because there is no susceptible population only how do we achieve susceptible population very much less than this resultant population it is achieved by vaccination we can go for vaccination constant a is contact rate or transmission coefficient we can survive an epidemic by restricting transmission this is done by measures such as containment quarantine or we are we are just restricting the transmissions even lockdowns also it is we are restricting the transmission in decisions such as hiv we are restricting constant a by active art treatment so that disease is not more transmissible that is a is decreased and we can achieve by treating the active cases b you treat every case whichever it is found positive that is also one of the strategy to survive an epidemic eventually every epidemic as the susceptible population keeps on decreases will fade out because there is no susceptible population and epidemic gradually decreases over time also which is not that much recommended most of the scenarios thank you